As part of this topic, I'll be covering EC2 details related to Cloud9. When you actually set up Cloud9 environment, it actually provides you IDE on top of EC2 instance. On top of IDE, you will also get additional features such as shutting down that EC2 instance when you don't use it. As of now, the Cloud9 is configured with 30 minute idle time, which means if I don't use this IDE for 30 minutes, it will automatically shut down. It will actually reduce my cost without worrying too much about me personally going there and shutting down the EC2 instance. Now let's understand a few more details related to EC2 instance. For that, you can open the tab here, then go to aws.amazon.com. You can expand this my account and click on AWS Management Console or you can also say sign in to the console. Once you are in the console, you can go to EC2. This is nothing but EC2 console. Here you can go to instances. The name of this instance is nothing but AWS Cloud9 DE Lab Demo and then some ID. The ID is for its internal usage. So Cloud9 is nothing but ID on top of EC2 instance with additional capabilities such as shutting it down if there is no activity in it. It will save a lot of money for us over a period of time. This is all about Cloud9 to begin with. We might have to play with some of the EC2 features as well as we go along with respect to the course. I will cover those as we get into the relevant components. For now, make sure you understand that we have EC2 running behind the scenes for our Cloud9. We have to touch this and make certain changes so that we can leverage this environment to learn data engineering skills without too many hiccups.